There's a tune you might know. Hello, welcome to the video. This one's about the jams. I was there at the time, I saw the jam a couple of times, I think in the Greyhound and the Nashville, before they were famous, before In The City became a huge hit and everybody goes, wow, that's like something new. When I saw them, that was a part of their show, the energy of that, but it was mainly, to be honest here, I always thought they were more of a Billy J. Kramer type tribute band. I wish they would go away, little children. For example, this is from a demo the jam recorded in March 1975 at TW Studios in Fulham. Sunshine and wave goodbye Let's go back a bit. Let's go back to 1972. We got together at school to start with, but then the band that became the jam and were the jam was really Bruce Foxton on bass, who originally played the guitar, but the bass player left, so Bruce was persuaded to play the bass, and a very good job he did of it too, and he wrote a lot of songs. Paul Weller, obviously, lead guitarist and frontman, a very charismatic frontman, and Rick Buckler on drums. They started at Shearwater Secondary School in Woking, the early stuff, sounds more like Billy J. Kramer. Because don't forget, this was only a few years after the actual Billy J. Kramer and all that, Jerry and the Pacemakers and the Beatles. So the Beatles, I think, were a much bigger influence on the jam than people give them credit for. And also, of course, all the 1960s Motown style thing, I'm not just including just Motown, but all that type of black American fantastic music. A lot of their early stuff, like non-stop dancing, and they did a track called The Soul Dance. <laughs> Can I just pause here to say that if you like this video, please like, comment, let me know what you think. Do you think I'm doing a good job with this? Do you think I'm messing it all up? Have you got experiences of the jam? Tell me what you think. Comment, like, if you like it, and subscribe. By all means, subscribe. Now back to Paul Weller and the jam. They were very influenced by that Motowny sound, which is of course Northern Soul, but above all, I think, the Who and the Kinks were the two main sources of inspiration for Paul Weller, and of course the Small Faces. Let's not forget Steve at Marriott, I think was his personal hero. And a lot of the songs he wrote were in that sort of style. When the punk thing started to happen, they instantly morphed into that. Like, I can remember I saw them after this had happened, when they were starting to get famous after In The City came out, and they were much more of a punky band with him, like Ginger everything was going faster and more. Next question. Let's be fair, in 1982, which is 10 years after they formed, when the jam broke up, Paul Weller showed his true roots by going off and forming the Star Council. Which was the ultimate mod band. So, it did influence a lot of things. It influenced punk, obviously, because the jam put their own take on punk, but also it influenced the whole mod revival, which came up in the late 70s, peaked in the, well, I say peaked in the 80s. When I was putting on shows at the Cricketers, we had a huge amount of mod acts playing there. Secret Affair, Purple Hearts, Long Tall Shorty, The Prisoners, The Carpets, Merton Parkers, Mood Six, Lambrettas, The Chords, The Moment, Making Time. There were so many of them. Paul Weller once or twice turned up to watch them, actually. Not a lot of people know that, but he didn't make a big thing of it. Not a lot of people recognised him. To be fair, he was not one of those um, celebrities who got their agent to ring you up and put them on the guest list plus 12, which is what the normal situation was. He was very much like Vince Power, the guy who ran the Mina Fiddler group. He'd just turn up incognito, pay his money, go in, stand by himself, watch the band, then go. Maybe take something with him, but it wasn't a big deal and he always paid, which I always think is a very good thing. Did you like the jam? Did you like the Star Castle? If you did, comment, let me know what you think. Like this video if you like it. If you don't like it, well, don't do anything. Just go away and I'll never see you again. Thank you for visiting my world. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not already subscribed. If this kind of thing, and I do a very wide range of stuff about, generally about gigs and music and stuff, based on my own own experience like if I hadn't seen the jam in 1970 whenever it was five or six or both or whenever and then later when they became famous 77 78 I would never have done this video because there wouldn't be any point because it's I'm not just doing a documentary about something I know nothing about I'm trying to put my own personality into this so like it or not that's what I'm trying to do so thank you for watching and I'll see you next time goodbye